Then start thinking about what you will feel in the next time zone of today. Let's get ready to party tonight. Woo! Let me introduce our co-host while we listen to a little bit of Rocket Man. You know him, you love him. The one and only. Give him a round of applause. Veda and Bobby, everybody. Hi. 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 I just tripped over my microphone, so hopefully I'm alive. Oh, I think you are alive. You look Good. very vibrant. Great. How are Hi you guys. doing? How are you guys doing? Long time no see. I missed yeah. you guys last week. I know. That was, yeah, you know, but you know what? Things happen. You know. yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, don't you dare, Bobby. I see it. Bobby. Bobby. Don't, what do we see? Don't give in to the temptation. He's hey, bringing that band musical it's, instrument into my broadcast What band again. instrument? Oh, you mean this band instrument? Oh, nice play, the Bobby. The nice teepee play. flute. Yeah, the teepee flute. He, that's, oh, I get it. He's going to hide it in the teepee flute. You guys are uh, looking good today. Uh, well, thanks, Stop you, Bobby. It, Bobby. You're looking dashing. Thank yeah, you. Bobby. Uh, I'm at so, a loss for words. It's nice I'm to be all here, heated though. up now. Oh yeah! Look, and he's oh Veda, you missed it. So he got a new cup last week. Did, Did he? you like to show it? Show your cup. These off? are these are um, sold out now. They're, they yeah. were just like limited time. If you go to your local Starbucks, yeah, you can oh, get thanks, a. Mark. You can if you find Ooh, these Mark Gage cups, is blowing up the. Box. <laughs> trying, he's trying to get me that two hundred dollar payout. I think. Nice. I just punched myself. Thanks, You'll Mark. find collector cups in your state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That say your state name on the Starbucks cup. Oh, nice. Like this is California, but they they go quick because when I seen them, they they left the store in less than two weeks. Really? They come oh, yeah? with a little uh, change purse too, matching. A change nice. purse. That sounds cute. I collect mm -hmm. the mugs, but I is that like a to go one? No, this is a ceramic uh, collector's mug. Oh, wow. oh, is that like a ceramic coffee cup? Yeah, this mug? this is you you buy these for twenty two dollars and then right when you leave the store they're worth fifty. Nice or more. I love yeah. inflation. And Bobby, don't forget that you are in charge of our chat. So please do not ignore our chat, Bobby. Oh, let me uh, take a look. Yeah, poor Tony. Look at Whoa, him. He's Mark just say, hi. say hi to say hi to Tony. <laughs> we say mustn't to forget Tony, Tony or Steve. Tony D, bro. No, what's we up? We mustn't. We mustn't not at <laughs> all. No, we, we must not. So how you, how'd you guys have a good week? I, I mean, we missed Veda last week. Bobby and I, we, we definitely uh, we definitely missed you, but we, we pulled through. We got through it. Good. Yeah, we good. got through it. I'm glad you guys but made it, it. I know. Oh, you know, what, you know what, Veda, you missed since Tony yeah. is here? Um, one of the most requested videos. Oh. Uh, by by people here on haps have been uh -huh. dming me on instagram and since you probably are not aware of it i want to make sure you're aware of it because this is this is going viral this is actually one of the number one uh haps videos uh and here it is our very own tony diaz beyonce Yeah, so let, we just had to get that out, right, you know, because... Um... Tony is not having it in the chat. Oh, what up, Dan Gwynn? He hates you. So much hatred. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Gotta have a couple we, trolls. We have a love-hate relationship, Beta, so it's, it's I fine. I love those. They're very passionate, usually. <laughs> yep. Oh, Bobby, we have Heavenly Dew is in the broadcast. I ring in the chat. I love awesome. her. She's such. She's awesome. I love her. Timing is so awesome. Yeah, indeed. It is. It absolutely is. And you know, on that note, um, I wanted to quickly show a couple things because 
I'm starting to do this thing. I'm loving that app, the face, up face, face let, whatever it's yes, called. Yes, you are. I yes, am. Are. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So I thought, why don't we kick the show off with some of Veda and Bobby and myself videos that I came up with. And then, and then we can move on to some other segments. What do you guys think? Yes. Sounds delightful. Yes. Yeah, Does it sound delightful? I'm here for the flow. Let's go for it. I know you are. You're here for the flow. And do you guys remember the uh, Maleficent video that we saw of Veda last week? Right? She was absent, but I sent it to her and she saw it. But what you guys didn't see is the behind the scenes, what it took to get to that point. And here it is. <laughs> Is that a little loud? I had just my volume there. No, it's perfect. It, it seemed fine to me. Oh, okay. Because, you know, sometimes I don't know. It, it comes in a little bit. Oh, man. I wish I could shiny. bring my leg up like Veda. Oh. I know, right? well, I wish I could put mine down like a normal person, but oh. I have to sit all crunched at all times. Oh. And, and, and Bobby, <laughs> you know, I wanted to change it up for you this time. And I wanted to show Bobby the superhero. Bobby... The man, the alpha Bobby, oh, the Chuck what did Norris. You come up come on, tough guy. Come on, tough guy. It's you, Bobby. Thumbs up for Bobby. None of Thumbs us up, can bro. Resist that. that was... I know. I know. Fingerprint, bra. It's the fingerprint, bra. It's the fingerprint, bra. And then, how about you everybody who? It. Everybody who thought that, like, what would I look like with piercings and tattoos? I know you guys Hot. were all thinking that. You guys were thinking that, weren't you? You were thinking that. You'd look sexy. Well, here you go. Here you go. Hey, listen up, hey, everybody. Listen up, everybody. <laughs> Let's go. Why do you yes, always get the hot I, videos? I do have a big tongue, just saying. A big but skinny. <laughs> Why well, do you always put yourself on the hot videos? Oh, Bobby. Bobby, stop, Bobby. I thought Maleficent Bobby. was hot. Yeah, she was yeah, hot. Yeah, that was, yeah. She was hot. Bobby, here. Oh, great. I'll, Bobby, I'll make up for you. How about this, Bobby? Okay. Here you go, Bobby. Whoa. That's badass. Look out, Bobby. It's the Predator. Oh, shit. I have to die. He's coming for you, bro. Get him, Bobby! Get him! That's scary, bro. Bobby, I'm terrified. I yeah. know, I know. But you know, yeah. I can, I can play the villain. Villain sometimes. Do you guys remember when we were doing um, what was it? Uh, the Fifth Element. This character actually in that movie kind of cracked me up. So I. Uh, 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 Billy, Billy, there's a point. There's a point. Yeah. Do you guys remember that movie? Remember his scene when he was selling the arms to those that race and they like he walked away and he's like, if you don't ask me what the button is, that's on you. That's on you. I wish I remembered. You didn't you never saw that so movie? Much. No. What? You don't remember seeing that movie? I don't think I did. I mean I, I just, it's been I, a long time. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. But did you see this movie? I, I know you like to play the villain too, Veda. Yes, I do. And I didn't see this one, but I saw the original, which was good. And I know they probably made two or three or four remakes of this one. But I thought you I thought you fit this role pretty well. <laughs> Corella, my favorite villain. Corella, Corella. I love her. I watched that film on a plane. And do you remember when was... Doe did? Yes. Did, uh... Oh my God, that was so good. They did she amazing did that so... at that. That was. I know. Before I had seen the film, and yeah, it was so good. Awesome. She was live today. I know. I saw her. She looks so good. Yeah. She... I'm normally not into the short hair, but she makes it look hot. She. Yeah. Well, she, she just knows that. how to dress. I think there's no, a replay. Was it was on the. Uh... You know the front board of haps yeah oh yeah, yeah that's right yeah 
You yeah, know, speaking I just of short I hair. An invite to that broadcast. I don't know where Sp I was. Speaking of short hair, and keeping in the theme of Bobby, Mr. Muscle, Mr. Tough Guy, again, again, Bobby. Wow. I brought you. I, I did you right this time. Here you go. <laughs> He will never be defeated. Never. Damn, you look huge, bro. Stay off the roids. You guys yeah. want to box me one day? No, I'm I good. I kind of do, but all my fingers are broken. So I know. I'm good. Well, you're going to have it, mittens on. You'll have I'm gonna, mittens on. Well, I think they just crunch into... I don't even know if I could put mittens on my broken you're hands You're going to be right taped. Now. You get, taped. That's what they do. They wrap They wrap your, your knuckles and everything, your hands up like so they're like that. And then you put them in the gloves and you're like, you know, so you, right. it, it helps so you don't break your knuckles. Okay, I have no excuses then. Yeah, Let's you have fight. no excuses. You know, <sighs> trying um, to choose peace. What's the guy, Woody Harrelson? Do you know a lot of people in my past that said that I resemble Woody Harrelson? What do you guys think? <laughs> That was pretty gory. I do think you do. A little Whoa. bit, don't you think? A little bit. Yeah, there's definite similarities and likeness there. But you know, the one movie I saw this clip and I just like the hair pieces and stuff, but I don't, I, if anybody in the chat can help us out, what is this movie? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks rad. It looks, it's like, look at those costumes. And what was that guy? Was that Bobby in the in a mask? Is that you, Bobby? No. He's like, no. I think <laughs> it looks a little bit no. like Lynn. I've never seen Lynn on cam, but now I have. Oh, shit. Don't start. Don't start stirring the pot, bro. What pot, That was a bro? good one, though. That was a good um. one. That was a good one. <laughs> That was a good one. But you know, a lot of people don't know that Veda, um, she's also an athlete. She does work out. And then when she was younger, she was a big, like, in the track and field. And then she um, she did the high jump one time. And uh, check it out. Woo! Get over there. Nice. Good job, Veda. Nice and clean. Wow. That was clean. These legs. That was clean. And oh I'm sorry, God. Bobby, but they all can't be good for you. That's <laughs> but it, but I made it, I made it humorous, though. You remember this guy? I'm Lieutenant, I'm Lieutenant Frank, Frank, Frank Drebber. Police, police squad. <laughs> Now we know what Bobby looks like in 20 years. Wow. <laughs> this looks good. Thanks. <clears throat> I think those are going to be my next glasses. They might be. Yeah. Do you know, you know another thing? Bobby did a, um, he did a movie with me, Veda. Did you know that? I'm not surprised. He did. He did. You guys Check are it out. have a long life. Ooh. Damn it, Bobby, you know my kryptonite. Wow. Damn it, Bobby. You picked Damn. the goriest movies. Did I? Yeah. Not all of them. Because is is Doe in the uh, chat? Uh, maybe lurking, but who knows? Who knows? They like to be mysterious. That's true. Because maybe you can spot her out. She might be in this clip with us. Check it out. Did you see her? Wow. I seen so me. I got taken by the music. I'm sorry. I know. I, I think right, I did. Too. She's Wednesday. There she is. Uh, 
Wednesday Adams. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. All right. Great. Well, those are the videos tonight. Um, we'll just we'll end the video segment with one last video. Oh, thank you. It never gets old. It just never gets old. And you know what? I wouldn't I wouldn't show it all the time, but so many people like it. And they keep like DMing me saying they they're like, that is the best video ever. The best video ever. <laughs> I don't want to be a bad sport. Tony boom, D bra. Boom, boom. Tony D, he's a good sport. He's a good sport. Um he might uh force me a witness relocation, but he's still a good sport. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. I'll go in the bunker with you. I know, right? I know. So, switching it up, what we'd like to do now is... What is it? Turn yourself on. Oh. Are you ready to turn yourself on? Are you ready? On? Are you guys ready to turn yourself on? I'm already aroused by the The Marina J segment. Yes. Promoting her again. Her wonderful book. Gal. Uh-huh. Marina J, turn yourself on. And you know, I wanted to read something. Double thumbs. I wanted to... Oh, you got the double thumbs out? Yeah. So where is it? Bruh. 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 All right, here you go. So okay. the top 10 turn-ons. All right. Spicy. Number one. Listen Decide up, what you don't want remember that you have to decide what you do not want number two desire what you do want number three detox what's in your way think about that think rid about it. that get rid it rid it that's right number four turn on your self love action oh yeah baby. oh bobby you like that one don't you i guess your ears should be hearing this you're too yes dirty. oh i'm sorry my bad my bad Not bobby you. bobby keep it clean bobby come on bobby no you guys are fine wow. number five turn on your best friend with it with it hello best friend with it Number I never six. Knew I had one there. Oh, you have one, Bobby. It's your higher self, my we friend. We all do. Turn on your receiving button. Do you know where your receiving button is, Bobby? I do not. Well, you better find it because you need to receive, brah. You need to receive, brah. Okay, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> this Number is seven. Turn on your sensuality. Whoa, mm, baby, you better turn that sensuality on. Hmm. You gotta be sensuous with yourself. You gotta be comfortable with yourself, Bobby. Wow. Number eight. This is a very important one. Turn on your pleasure. Don't mistake. Don't don't forget number eight. You gotta turn your pleasure on. And number nine. Turn on your beauty. Oh, we got some we got some bombs for that one. Turn your beauty on. She's and the number ten. On. The number ten one is Turn on your power, everybody. Turn your power on. Activate it, everybody. Let's go. I highly recommend her. Activated. You know, shout out to her again. She is so personable. Um, Veda and I follow her on Instagram. I, I commented. She responds. I mean, she, you know what I mean? She's, oh, I love her. I tell you, in the universe, I'm putting it out there again. She will be a guest host on this show <clears throat> in the future. She will be. She will be. Marina look J, everybody. Up. Look her up on Instagram or wherever. She's Look on. All, she's on all the. Things. She's everywhere. You can't. She's everywhere. She's everywhere. Yeah. Find her. I found her on Inside Timer, and then Marina J. Everybody found her on Instagram, or not Instagram, uh, Spotify. Yep. There she is. There she is. 
love her. No, oh, she's so good. She is so good. Ooh. What up, so. Coochie Poo? Oh, Bobby, the, the you cooch. Have a, you have a stalker. Is the Coochie Poo here? Yeah, apparently for Bobby. Coochie Coochie Yeah, he poo. is. Yeah, he, yeah, he got some highlighted videos uh, last week. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, nice. They were, oh. they, were, uh, they were quite interesting, right, Bobby? <laughs> yeah. Should we go there? No, we're not going to go there. That was that was so last week, brah. And besides, this is a respectable broadcast here on HAPS. Oh, they weren't respectable. CO. Yikes. The network of now. Turn yourself on. Don't Sorry, you Sorry, know. I went back a segment. It's all right. We, we, we don't mind because we love turning ourselves on. We do. It's very important. It's essential. It's essential for us. Yes. We must remember that. You know, and speaking of that, I got chills. I did. I did a different thing. This everybody in the chat. Oh, oh. So just a reminder, everybody in the chat, we're still taking names. It's a show with no name. Please yeah. put it. It's you. You. You do not have a limit of the amount of names that you can come up with. So put them in the chat, and we're going to. We we keep accumulating them and we review them and when we decide it's yours you win a prize you win a prize don't you guys like prizes i, I think do they do everybody who does not like prizes i don't know some people don't get incentivized by a prize but i do i don't, I don't really care about fun. winning but i love a prize you know i think prizes are fun they are you know another thing that we we did a little bit different this time is what? we like to uh, showcase a fruit and or vegetable. <gasps> so this week we decided that we were gonna pick two and we were gonna let Bobby and Veda decide which ones they wanted. And the two choices that they had are your very own mango and avocado. Bobby, unveil on three, two, one. Yeah, let's see what they uh, decided, everybody. Uh, you know what? I uh, I have something. Uh, what do you have, Bobby? A little bit Reveal. off that notch. Ooh, well, you, you're, know, you're always a little bit off that notch. It doesn't have the name written on it, but this is in the mango family. Oh, it oh. is. Can you guys guess what the name of this is? Is that a Bobby mango? I actually have no idea. Um, <laughs> this this is a UFO mango. Ooh, cool. where did you find that? Yeah, Bobby. Did you find that you... at Aerial 51? Yeah, so, yeah, so um, a regular mango like up there in the picture is uh, $2. This mango, if you look around in that same area, is 79 cents. Ooh. Have you tried one are of those? You, um, we're gonna try it today. Are you bargain How shopping exciting. for mangoes? I yeah. mean, mangoes are a bit pricey. That's awesome. It smells that like. Having said. Yeah, that's Ooh. the regular. We got I double crossed, mango. I crossed state lines with this, guys. So Whoa. I broke the law I love the for this three mango. beautiful colors. I love the three beautiful Aren't colors in a mango. Delightfully pretty. Um, this one's yeah, a the transition between overripe. green to like yellow. And then yeah. into that beautiful, like, orange red. I mean, this is perfectly how you would want to eat it. I like mine a little greener because I'm disgusting and, and I that's like a a... firm fruit. But Ooh, but that sounds I'm, dirty. I'm going to get right into this. I Bobby, do you like a firm fruit? Uh, my This one, these, all these. Wait, hold on a second. Not Did nobody firm. pick avocado? Unbelievable. I did. I did get a, an avocado also. Oh, you Bobby's did? Okay, because I did too. I picked yeah. both. So, okay. what I did was I was in the store today and I didn't see any mm -hmm. mangoes that were whole. I just saw cut up ones. So, of course. Firm fruit, yes. <laughs> I got myself some nice sliced, pre sliced mangoes. Oh, how convenient. I hate to destroy the beauty of this, but I'm going to start. And I plus I I, I kind of wanted this way anyways because they're kind of messy, you know. Yeah, they are. And besides, these were these I got these at Whole Foods, so of course they're organic. So they're I delicious. bought I bought three of these, uh, whatever they're called. 
How much avocados. do you think they cost me? An avocado. Uh, yeah. um, were they one ninety nine each? So yeah, they were on special for three for five dollars. Oh okay. And then you know, oh, thanks, the UFO mango was seventy nine. So cents. good. I am really interested in this UFO mango, Bobby. I want I know. to know. Can, you know right, what please, a normal mango tastes like, Can you right? please share yeah. about that? Because I'm, I'm interested, okay. too. All right, I'm going to go need... ahead and uh, slice this. Okay. Hopefully slice it... and dice, bro. Let's yeah, see let it. Me, let me tear We're... the uh Let's see the innards off. of your mango. I'll put the sticker right here. Oh, yeah. There we go. I... So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to do like a wedgie slice. Here. Nice. I don't, can you guys see that? Yeah. Bobby, will you be able to compare it to like a normal mango oh, for us? Shoot. I might be going into my skin with this. Bobby, please stop. Oh. And and I also have the avocado, yeah. right? Okay. That I'm presenting here on screen. Oh shoot! And this thing's like dripping. And yeah, do you know how juicy. I like my avocados? How? I just I like them plain. I'll take Me an too. avocado, and I will cut it. Right in half. Mm -hmm. Nice even cut. Twist. Pull it off. Look at that. Nice and perfect. Mm -hmm. You take there your spoon, go. and I just enjoy. Uh, that Yeah, I love doing that, too. My So I was going to show you guys mm. how I like to eat mangoes. So good. But it's it's too ripe. So basically, yeah. I usually like to make little slivers like this, and I just eat them. Oh yeah, by oh, hand. Yeah. But this one's too juicy, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to enjoy this, as I only brought a peeler with me. So I might just bite in like an apple. Now I'm curious, is this one of the fruit Veda that you don't eat the skin? Because of how I like to eat it, I don't. But mm. if I had known. So I've left on half the skin. I'll probably eat the second half. I'm a disaster with this mango, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> See, that's why I was I, afraid to eat like a like a one like you guys are because it's so messy and well, I didn't gets all bring, over. Uh, I should have known it was it was. You almost have to like saran wrap your uh, keyboard. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm. And I have no no napkin, no nothing. So, oh, but I it's got one. So good. Here you go. Do you want to borrow one? Uh huh. Here you go. Here you go. You think this looks like a potato, Kelsey? It does a little bit. His does. So th this is similar to what you have, Veda. Is yours is is yours ripe enough to where it's it's the way how you like it, the sweetness? I like mine firmer, so I can make slivers. Oh, okay. But I mean, it's delicious. Yeah. Otherwise, yours is very I like it. very wet and juicy right now. Uh huh. So Ooh, this speaking is speaking of wet and juicy. What? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like this is a little bit more tart than sweet. Mm -hmm. So that would be the difference of the UFO um, mango. Then I think I'd be down because I love tart stuff. Yeah, it's 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 a little bit uh, tart, but it has that sweet taste too of the regular mango. Mm. So and these are smaller than that mango. You know, they're this right. much smaller. <laughs> They're I'm actually like, hungry, like so I don't want to not enjoy this. So here's but... here's another thing. When you have your avocado and you're mm -hmm. at the seed end, there's a few options you can do. One is you okay. can take a sharp knife and you can like just hit it into it. That's what I do. And pop it out. Well, another trick is you just squeeze. You can just squeeze it and it pops and it pops right out. You just squeeze, oh. boop, and it pops right out. Wow, I've never achieved that. Yeah. I've never tried the squeeze method. The squeeze, I, I like squeezing a lot of my fruit, if you know what I mean. I have, this is just difficult. Um, Especially my firm fruit. Your firm, well, firm fruit is my favorite. I wish that mm -hmm. this was firm. So I could, so basically, usually I sliver off a million slices like this, and the whole plate is usually covered in mango slices. Mm -hmm. And then I just eat them, and it's a tasty snack that lasts forever, but... Well, I was looking up um, benefits of avocado and mango. Yeah. And they also had they had interesting combinations where they would mix them together, whether it would be in salads or in like huh. like a 
like a like a tartar, like a like a uh, raw tuna mix, mm. and they make it like in a a that mold really together. Good. Oh, it was so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. My friend makes mango sticky rice, so she just dices that mango and puts it on sticky rice, and apparently that's a thing. Did you know that our very own Bobby Shadow is quite the rice connoisseur? No. Yeah. He, I, I think he that. pretty much makes rice almost every day. Don't you, mm -hmm. Bobby? <clears throat> yeah, I make uh, jasmine white rice. Uh, I like, know, like jasmine. The, yeah, and then I, uh, I scramble about two eggs, and I put it in the, uh, the frying pan with some oil, and I make fried rice with that. You put any What's veggies your... in there? Uh, I would like to, but I make it for my son. He he just likes the eggs and the rice, and that's it. And then I mean, we it put, sounds great. Yeah, a little bit of uh, like special soy sauce. See, from, Bobby uh, and I have a 15-year-old son, and um, they don't want anything green, and definitely no vegetables. <laughs> no, no, for sure. I had a brother, so had a brother. I mean, I still have a brother. So uh, <laughs> right. Sweet Pea just got here, and I just wanted to show you, Sweet Pea, that I have a mango. It's a it's a UFO mango. Yeah, he got it's it from not uh, Area 51. Oh, I'm jealous of that UFO yeah. mango. And I just well, devoured my avocado, and now I'm we going have, to my We have mangoes. avocados, too. <laughs> Y'all changed to mango as well. We just made it both. We made it both. <laughs> I know the controversy of the produce change. No, but you know, we made it work, right? We made it work. I mean, I'm delighted right now. So what are some of the benefits of the fruits? I'm glad you asked. So some of the benefits of um, avocado <laughs> and mango. Yes. We'll start with avocados. Okay. So there's 10 benefits actually. And the number 10 is anti-aging, which we all want to look young, right? Oh, I'm it's very healthy for your eyes. It's healthy for your brain. It's healthy for your heart. Okay. It aids in digestion, which is, we all want to improve that, especially as we get older. Um, it's cancer protection. And if you guys are thinking about getting pregnant, well, guess what? You might want to eat some avocados because they're quite beneficial mm. for pregnancy. Mm. They also help. Mm with your blood sugar, high blood pressure, and with the number one health benefit for avocados is it is a healthy fruit. Because a lot of people think it's a vegetable. Yeah, it's got a... An, an, a Av avocado is actually a fruit. It's, it's a pit. It's very, yeah, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very good to lower your cholesterol. So those are the 10 benefits of your very own avocado, everybody. Train yourself to like it, guys. You might need to train yourself, but you will. Mm. I, I, I eat one a day. I used At least. to, and I've really gotten off the bandwagon with it. No, I, I eat one a day. It's, it, it, you, know, it, you know what's also good about avocados, which is not on the list? What? It's a very good, um, it's a good fat. So when mm -hmm. you, when you want to uh, incorporate in the balance between carbs proteins and fats avocado is one of the wonderful fats to incorporate into your yeah. diet so good for your brain mm -hmm. that's why i started eating them I need all the help i can get up here you know yeah right Space don't we all it. don't we uh -huh. all at least so, us three also mango there's 10 benefits to the beautiful mango that we we three are sharing right now Number 10 didn't make it on the list, but I did write it down. <laughs> Number 10, it clears the skin, which is great. Right, Bobby? Yes. Thank God, because I have a giant zit on my chin. The more mangoes you eat, the better it is for your complexion. Great. Number 9 is it prevents cancer. That's huge. It also improves digestion. And it, it, it also, like avocado... Lowers your cholesterol, also improves eye health, similar to avocado, promotes, this is probably the best 
freaking thing. Get your mangoes ready because number five is the best thing. It should be number one. It promotes healthy sex. How does it do that? Oh, how does it not do that? Does it do it like a pineapple does it? I think so. I think is that the little... is that the route we're going? All right. I think. I think. Well, I better I eat up. Eat up, because we all want some healthy sex tonight or this weekend. I mean, I would like it, but it's <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> um. Number four, it helps fight heat stroke. And this number three, they're on the fence with this one. It may help with diabetes. We're not really sure. It possibly might. It may. We're just we're kind of throwing that out there. Just you know, if if you eat a mango and you got diabetes, it may help with it. It's interesting it that they use that word. I know they use that word may. It may help. It may or it may not. <laughs> may or may not. It also we're, might we're... send you into diabetic shock. Exactly. Right. That's why I'm so surprised they didn't put that one caution. at number ten or eleven. <laughs> and uh, uh, number two. It alkanizes the whole body, and that's huge too. That's a that that puts mangoes up at like one of the super fruits, because yeah. when you understand the balance of how you want your body to be with water and and, and things like that, alkanizing your 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 levels in your body is huge. It's the same thing like the chemistry that you do with a pool, the alkalinity, everything that uh, that's in a pool. It's like your it's think of the same thing as your body. You got to get your levels right. And mangoes yeah. helps helps in that. And the number one thing, and it's kind of a theme with a lot of the fruits and vegetables that we've chosen so far, is that it mm -hmm. boosts your immune system, and we all need that. There you Me go. Too. The number 10 health benefits of mangoes, everybody. Thank you, James. You're very welcome. I like, I like information like that a lot. <laughs> I need it was a... funny because I was doing a, cha a chat with Bobby privately about like you know the show and stuff, and <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was like, he's like, he's like, brah, are, are you like, are you like, are we doing like just like a healthy show like a topics? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that, Bobby? I was like, no, not all, no, but but you know I, I do want to. I do want to, if we're going to promote a, a fruit and vegetable as one of the segments, I want to, you know, tell everybody if they don't know the benefits of it. I mean, I'm learning as we go. But you know what it was, too? Because, Veda, when you were absent last week, yeah, I did, I did a bunch of these with water, meditation, massage, um, exercise, and, of course, the... Uh, the fruit that we did last week, which was blueberries. Did you guys eat a lot? Throw oh my God! Did yeah, we, not... we did. You know the. We you know the. We finished them all. You know the square package, the yeah. square plastic package. I ate a whole package. Good. Did you feel great after with all those antioxidants? I ate two. I ate two oh, square oh. packages. One was regular and one was organic. Wow. And I was doing did the you, difference. What was the difference? Well, the organic ones were smaller blueberries. The color was a little bit lighter. It wasn't okay. as dark as the regular blueberries, where the okay. regular blueberries were bigger. But the organic blueberries tasted sweeter, and I enjoyed them more. They were more delicious. Very interesting. I love a comparison like that. Mm -hmm. I try to buy organic, but if it's like a difference of like four bucks, I'll get regular. But if it's like you, a dollar, do you, I'll get organic. Do you think they mess with them to make them bigger? Like yeah, when they do. Not organic? Yeah, they do. Are they the hormones and stuff. stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's like that. How just, how do they put hormones though? Is it like injected into the dirt or into the yeah. bark? Oh. In the dirt. Oh, it's the same thing. Like so, if you perfect example too is um um uh, what's the apple one of the uh, oh, what's that one apple everybody likes? The, um, the something crispy? Lady? No, honey, uh, honey, oh, crisp? honey crisp. Honey crisp. Yeah. So when you go to the grocery store and you look at the honey crisp apples, uh -huh. the regular honey crisp apples are huge. The organic ones are 
quite smaller in size. Mm-hmm. Should we have that as our next fruit? Maybe, but we there's... can't devolve the the fruit or vegetable live there's... on our show here on Haps.co, the network of there's now. There's so to be, many different kinds. They have to have kinds, some suspense, though. bro. There's got to be suspense. Wait, are you going to uh, emphasize what kind of apple if we do? Oh, of course. Okay. If I mean, because What's there's your some apples. favorite apples to eat? Honeycrisp is my favorite. I like the del- I like the delicious ones. Those okay, like but, golden. Yeah, I think the golden delicious. Yeah, I like They're, Granny those are, Smith. Granny Smith are great with like caramel or yeah. caramel. I was always told I couldn't like eat a Granny apple? Smith as a kid because they were for baking, and I was like, "What? Okay, so, good. so those are for apple pies." The, Apple pies. The, yep. They recommend them for that, but you can literally yep. make an apple pie with any apple. Oh, of course, of course. Yep. There, yep. there's a famous place here called Julian. Uh, you know, on the way from my house to San Diego. Hello, Edward. It's mm-hmm. up in the hills. If you look up Julian, it's a very uh, bedroom, like mountainy, you know, cabin, uh, antiques, and they're known for their apple pies. Mm. Yeah. Some I of the like best apple farms. Pies make like some of these farms uh will, will make have like a little restaurant and they make their own like pies depending what kind of farm it is mm-hmm. we were up in michigan and uh there was this i forget what farm it was called but they had blueberry pie and they grew mm-hmm. their own blueberries it was so freaking delicious yeah. it was and it was homemade so it was like it was homemade right there in the farm and it w- and it was it was hot right out of the oven, the blueberries were fresh picked right there on the in the field. Yum! It was so good, so good. I'd like to uh, give a shout out to Edward. Yeah. Edward's here in the audience. Absolutely. Yeah. Hello, Edward. This is the first time I've eaten a mango like this. Yeah. See, That's I like to eat. I like a to disaster. eat it. Disaster. I I like. <laughs> See, people give me shit. They're like. <laughs> I will eat a lot of my stuff with toothpicks because mm-hmm. I don't like to make a mess. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this oh, is actually we have, quite uh, disgusting. We have Edward with uh, he's uh, Apple facts. stating uh, in the realm of the healthy words. Uh-huh. Can you see the chat? No, I got to switch. I don't have the chat on. Apples okay. are helpful in maintaining a healthy digestive system since they're loaded with fiber. They help you process your food better. A medium oh, yeah. sized apple contains four grams of fiber. Does anybody know the daily dose of fiber that's recommended for the human organism? I don't know. So what is it? Oh, wow. He's writing a whole book to us. I'm wondering if it's like, because I'm just, I don't know 100%, but I'm just going off of what he just read there. If that If that's accurate. So, so one apple gives you four grams. So is the daily dose has got to be probably in the teens. I can't imagine it being more than 20. It's probably somewhere well, it's, in the, it's in the teens. It's 17 percent of your recommended daily intake. Shuddy four grams? Studies. Yeah, four grams of fiber. All right, so or, then, yeah. so then it's be, it would be higher then. Then you should be taking – well, that's a balance. See, that's another balancing thing when it comes to fiber because you don't want to yeah. – if you do too much fiber – Good luck trying to, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, my my teacher, kind of got up. you know how you're supposed to bring an apple a day to your teacher? And mm-hmm. then the saying is one apple a day keeps the doctor away. Right, right. Yeah. Right. So 25 grams. Oh, oh he's doing age too. So it's by age. And that's a 2,000 calorie diet for adults. Which okay. is very, th- that's very generalized because we all are different. We all have different intakes. And if you are working out intensely, yeah. 2,000 calories a day is nothing. Well, you mainly you don't want to stop eating. You know, you want to, you know, throughout the day, you want to plan, replenish what you need to sustain, you know, life, normal life. Do you remember... Um, uh phelps the swimmer yeah they yeah. listed they listed his uh daily intake oh man that was a lot that he man had, like, was 10 pancakes oh my, in the morning with it was 12 crazy it was crazy he had like gaston 
He had he had a gazillion calories. He probably had I think it was at six to eight thousand mm-hmm. calories a day. Well, he he was in incredible shape during that mm-hmm. time. Like, oh, have yeah. you seen him recently? No. I mean, he's all grown up. He's grown up now. He's you know he doesn't have to be in that great of shape. You know. Right. But even somebody like Arnold Schwarzenegger, who admittedly took steroids during his prime, you know. And um, he no longer takes steroids, but he still maintains a certain activity level, exercise level, to to be in the in the shape that he's in. And he's pretty he's in pretty damn good shape still, for being yeah. what I think he's he's pushing sixty ish, if he's yeah. not in his sixties already, he's somewhere in that realm, I believe. That's a whole different realm than a swimmer, though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Can you can bugger? you imagine what Tyson's diet was? And activity. Oh, My that son is a boxer. Was, he still can't believe yeah. that Tyson was a heavyweight yeah. at five. I think he's five eight or five nine, something yeah. like that. And because the heavyweight starts at two twenty and then goes to unlimited, right? It it was a match of power not what like, put him into that like heavyweight position. Yeah. Well, it's also the because power. he was he would get. He would get close to you and he'd get under your chin and yeah. he was known for his uppercut. And how are you going to punch somebody when they're right under you like that and they're yeah. just wrecking you? But, but anywho, he was, uh, he's probably one of my all time favorite heavyweight boxers. That would be interesting to, uh, look at the diet, you know, the diet list, like their journal. They probably had yeah. a journal, you know, oh, yeah, of I think what they, they ate per day and what they did, you know, to keep yeah. in shape. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I want to see Veda's diary. A yeah. food? A food. <laughs> or just in general. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, um, uh, they're m- hand in hand, they're both the same, aren't they? Or do you have a separate one for health, separate one for life? My diary is usually my Twitch streams. I always oh. say the Do you have a digital diary? Yeah, right. And then they disappear after two weeks, so they self-destruct. Oh. But so, oh, so I have some let's, journals. Let's talk about that because that's interesting. So is that how Twitch works? That after two weeks, so they last two weeks and then the stream disappears. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the way they maintain a low server. Keeps like, it running better, but data or whatever. Yeah, database. Which oh, is fine with me because every other platform I've ever been on where the streams stay forever usually dies. So yeah. I always lose them anyways. So if you want to save your streams, you got to back them up yourself on hard drive. And I just don't care enough to do and so. Speaking but... of, well, no, but speaking of, uh, you know, platforms dying, you know, there was a rumor bill that our very own haps is going to leave us at the end of the month. And so Bobby and I were talking about this and I shared this with you, Veda. Yeah. Wouldn't it be hilarious? And if, and, and if the people of haps are listening, wouldn't it be late or hilarious if they decided? Because you know they have a good sense of humor. They obviously do. If on April first they just mm-hmm. went black the whole day, or a part of the day, whatever, and then April second they showed up and said, "April Fools, we're back." <laughs> well, yeah, you, you I mean, would... sure if they want to do that, I'm down for an April Fools joke. You wouldn't want to go all day, though. If I, if if you were the CEO or the, you know, the person that's in charge, or yeah. you know, the round table, yeah, you would only go for like, you know, thirty to an hour. Well, well, you know what you could do is so at twelve oh one, right at the end of March yeah. on twelve oh one, since it's dead dead time too a lot of times. So yeah. There's not a lot of people that, you know, broadcast at that time. Then just go dead from twelve oh one. Just be dead. Yeah. Until like, you know, maybe six or seven in the morning yeah. or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to where it's talked about the whole rest of the day. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> or or even to noon. Even do do like twelve to twelve. Do do like half yeah. a day. Just dead. And everybody'd yeah. be like, What the fuck, man? Hamps is gone. Whoa. And you'd have the whiners on Twitch and on Twitter and Instagram and everything, Facebook crying. Yeah. Would be the whole Periscope fiasco yeah. again. Blah blah blah. Can you imagine uh like Bathurst, what's going on? I know. Are they leaving? What's going on? Are they leaving? Yeah, he'll be tweeting. Everyone's going to be I tweeting. I know. It's so crazy. 
You know what I wanted to do, though? Tweet, tweet. Yes. If you guys don't mind. Before we end this show, what I'd like to do. I have so much mango strings in my teeth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's another thing. Well, you know, because that, that's towards, that's the, uh, those are close to the seed, right? When you get the strings. Well. <laughs> so, uh, did you guys see Edward's comment on your, your uh, blackout? No. What did he say? I said, oh, Edward. <laughs> Silently to myself a little bit. What, what did he say? He's saying, wow, James, you said they would go black. That's so white of you. <laughs> should I have said, <laughs> should I have, should I have said dark? Yeah, I think, I think dark would have been a better term. Well, Haps is the one that, remember when they brought up the white list? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah I was on, the on white that. You're I was done? on the white list. I'm, I was on the white list, too. I made the white list. I made list. it with my 4 I made the white list, bro. <laughs> Wait, did Ed make the white list? I don't know, Probably. Ed. Did you make the white list, bro? Yeah, he did, because he broadcast. Yeah, see? He has, yeah, he made it. He made the broadcast. So, <laughs> yeah. Anywho, so what I'd like to do. What? Before we end the show. Is I'd like to take you all in a guided meditation. So we're gonna oh do gosh, a I zen. Should we put our hands together? I'm what I'd like you to all to do like this on my is if you all can please close your eyes. Okay. You can take be off my glasses. Up. You can if you want. Just get yourself comfortable. You can remain sitting, you can lay down, or you can stand up, whatever you want. But okay. just get yourself still, close your eyes. I'm ready. And I want you to take three deep breaths in from your nose and exhale from your mouth. Now what I want you to do, what I want you to do is every time I say my name, you're gonna say your own name in your head and you're gonna be talking to your higher self. So I want you to say, I am sorry, James. Babito. I want you to say, James, please forgive me for all we do make mistakes, but to know that my higher self has forgiven me already and your higher self has forgiven you already. I want you to say that you love yourself. I love you, James. Thank you for being there for me and supporting me. And lastly, I want you to say thank you. Thank your higher self. Thank you, James. Thank you for always having my back, always being there for me, always knowing what I should do and helping me, encouraging me. Now we're gonna breathe again. This time we're gonna breathe in with abundance. Inhale abundance through your nose and exhale resistance from your mouth. Abundance in. Resistance out. One more time. Abundance in. And resistance out. Now slowly just sit in the moment for a second and know that all is going to be well. And everything in your life has already been played out with your higher self. And you have already won and you've already completed it and you've already made it to the end. Now smile and know that you are loved. Now open your eyes. How do you guys feel? Good. Do you feel good? It was really nice. I was really, really breathing in that abundance and rejecting that resistance. You have to reject. 
reject, reject. Just let it go. It's not all. It's not just rejecting it. It's releasing it. Releasing. Absolutely, absolutely. Prime example of that is I was found out today that the building I wanted to move into, there was actually no spots left when I was told there was, and I just said it's not where I'm meant to be. That's right. I'm meant to be somewhere else. Yep. And I'm just trusting that it will. It's, it will. So I've just, I just I, I see Edward asking a couple times, and I I've decided that with my next move I'm I'm gonna actually keep it private. That's I've been good. a little too vocal with where yeah. I'm going, and like I love to be an open book. I love it, but there's been some breaching of the respect of my openness. So I'm gonna keep my next location to yourself. Where in the world is Veda? Remember I, that whole thing. Call- where in the world is Garvin San Diego? All I'll say is there will be palm trees and sun. I call that zero Ooh, zen. I like that. Maybe. Zero zen. Maybe there'll be snow and blizzards. Yeah. Or maybe I'll be blasting off in the UFO with that True. Lego. And before we but go I'll too, because I wanna do I wanna do our, our um our departure song, you know. But before yes. we start that, I'd like to ask the chat. If they want to give us some ideas of possible Thank fruit you, or fruit and or vegetables that that you might recommend us to do for next Tuesday's show, please put them in the chat and also please also put in uh, a show title that you think that even if you've already done in the past, if you've got some other ones, it, like it I seems said, they like the name that we have going on. I mean that's fine, you know we but you know. If nobody wants to win the prize, that's fine. We'll just split it between us three. Yeah, I have no problem with that. <laughs> Thank well, you. on that note, is there any last words before we play our going out music, Bobby, Veda, that you'd like to say before we end the show? Not a one. Not a one? I can't wait to floss. Ooh, flossy, flossy. You know who's one yeah. of the best flossers here on haps.co? Like this type of flossing? Or no flossing. flossing your teeth. Who? The one Colin? of the best. No, Colin. How you doing, Colin? I know. What up? <laughs> what up? No, but one of the best flossers, flossing your teeth here on Haps.co, Bro. is your very own. He 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 has beautiful teeth. Yeah. So he can't stand your ass, though. I know. So let's all get ready for a departing song, because it is time to say goodbye. I had a great time. I'm so glad you made it, Veda. And it's always great to see you too, Bobby. On a wild card. But you know, it's time to say goodbye. So let's just take in this song, just like when we meditate, and let that high energy just flow through us. Sing it along if you know the lyrics. Here we go. Suck that mango, Bobby. Doesn't this just flow through your whole soul? It does. It is beautiful. <laughs> Leslie, I don't know what I'm doing up here with these guys. <laughs> this show was brought to you by the UFO Mango. The UFO mm. Mango, everybody. And healthy digestion. Not too much fiber. 
Not too much. I'm already dead. Noche. Follow me on Twitch in case Haps dies. Follow her on Twitch, on Twitch, on Twitch. We're Twitch. trying to take Twitch at the age of 78. Twitch. I age well because I eat Time videos. to say goodbye. Thank you, everybody, for joining us again. Same we appreciate name. you so much. The lovely Veda Ashley, everybody. Bobby Shadow, everybody. And yours truly. We'll see you again next Tuesday night. You guys.